This is Lindsay Albertson, Assistant Professor at Montana State University. In this section, we're going to talk about caddisfly ecology. Net spinning caddisflies in the family Hydrocycidae are aquatic insects that are ecosystem engineers. These critters are shown in these two pictures here, and they're characterized by a body that's often curled up or in a half circle or half moon shape. They also have a large number of bristly gills coming off their stomach and hardened, usually dark plates near their head. Caddisflies are also a favorite of fishermen. I took the picture on the bottom right there um, where the license plate of this van says Caddis 1. So what are caddisflies? Caddisflies are aquatic macroinvertebrates, meaning that they live at least part of their life cycle in the water. They're visible to the naked eye and they don't have vertebrae. They're animals and they're characterized in the class Insecta. Caddisflies are in the order Trichoptera that has about 9,000 species worldwide. Most of these have one generation per year, but sometimes they can have more than one generation if they're in locations with warmer water temperatures. Most caddisflies build cases, at ho cases as homes, and these guys are grazers, meaning they graze in order to get their food. However, some are free living, meaning they don't have cases. Instead, they build silk catch nets, and these guys are filter feeders, meaning that they filter food out of the water column to be able to eat. The filter feeders are in the family Hydrocycidae. Here are a couple examples of case building caddisflies. So in this case, the caddisfly itself has been pulled out of its case that's made of tiny little rocks. These are also popular for jewelry makers, so some jewelry is shown here. In contrast to the case builders, the filter feeders build silk structures and they use that to filter feed instead of to graze. To review the morphology of a net spinning caddisfly, again, these are in the order Trichoptera and the family Hydrocycidae. Their body is caterpillar or worm-like with three pairs of legs, those are shown here, gills off of their underside of their body, the body is often strongly curved or in the shape of a half moon. They have dark plates near their head. Those are called dorsal plates. And they have bristle-like tufts at the end of their abdomen. Here's some pictures of common hygrocycid caddisflies. These are in different genera. And you can see that overall they have similar body types but there are some differences depending on which species you're talking about, and they can vary in everything from the size of their bodies to what their color is. These net spinning caddisflies are the spider men of stream because they produce silk. Researchers study the characteristics of the silk material, including things like how many threads are located in a silk net, and what the strength of that silk material is like. In this picture, you can see the silk material here in the center and two clamps, one's here and one's here, that are part of a machine that's pulling on that silk material to measure its tensile strength. Caddisflies have a very exciting and interesting life cycle. As adults, they're terrestrial, meaning they live in the air. They're adults for anywhere from about a couple weeks to a month. They mate. The female lays her eggs in the water. They're eggs for approximately a week. The eggs hatch and become what we call larva or larvae if there are multiple of them. They're larvae for about two um, <clears throat> for about 10 months, and they're fully aquatic when they're larvae. When they're ready to become an adult, 
The caddisfly makes what's called a pupal case, and it's thought of then as a pupa. During this time, it's enclosed in this case structure, which allows it to be able to build its wings or create its wings. It then eats its way out of the case, crawls to the bank, crawls up on the side where it can dry, and then flies away as an adult in the air. These guys are ecosystem engineers and they're producing that silk structure during the larval stage of their life cycle. So where do they live when they're larvae? They live in riffle type habitat where the substrate is cobble or gravel and the water is moving relatively fast. Sometimes you can characterize these riffle habitats by areas where you almost see little white caps or where the water is breaking up over the substrate. These caddisflies are filter feeders and they're eating leaf material and other detritus that's broken down into really small, fine particles. So they're filter feeding organic material that's broken down leaf and detrital material. So how do they do this? Well, they build that silk structure. So I've got a couple photos here for you to see. All of this white stuff here between these gravels is silk. So they build the silk structure that they're going to use to capture their food. These two pictures are from under a microscope, and you can see that there are all these little particles, um, chunks of leaves, chunks of wood. Sometimes they'll eat chunks of animal parts that are floating downstream. It gets caught on the mesh structure, and the caddisfly can then pick that food particle off of it and eat it. What's amazing about these silk structures is that they're actually built in this perfectly arranged mesh arrangement. So the caddisfly has done that. I haven't done anything to that silk material. That's how the caddisflies build their web structures so that they're efficient in capturing food. Here's a video showing a caddisfly going about its business. It uses its jaw to place the silk threads that it produces in glands from its body in just the right location. And it does a pretty good job at clinging onto rocks where there's flow and water current swirling around it so that it can build that structure that it needs to be able to feed. Not only is a caddisfly thinking about eating, but there are a lot of other things going on in its life that it has to be able to contend with to be able to survive. A couple of those things are things like competition with other filter feeders. This is the black fly larva shown here. Predation or potential predation from things like fish or other macroinvertebrate predators like stoneflies. And uh, harsh physical conditions like high flow events or floods. Net spinning caddisflies are ecosystem engineers and they infect their physical environment in a couple of different ways. They bind rocks together with their silk material and make it harder to erode and thereby affect the physical conditions of the substrate in the riverbed. They also produce these silk structures that stick up on the surfaces of rocks. So one shown here, another one shown there. And you can see that because it sticks up into the water column, that structure acts as a, a little bit of a baffle that'll slow down flow around it. So caddisflies engineer water currents and water paths in the riverbed. Current research conducted using net spinning caddisflies asks a bunch of different types of questions. So we're curious about whether the density of these net spinners influences how much they engineer. We're curious about differences in their species identity. We're also curious about whether these small critters are as important as larger engineers like um, beavers or things like woody debris. And we also ask how the engineering influences other critters that live in the riverbed. To ask some of these questions, we often use experiments that use what we call rock packs or rock baskets, where we create physical habitat um, that's experimenting experimentally manipulated and replicate, replicated so that we have proper experimental design. And this is the type of rock pack that you all will make for your experiments with your students.